God is your father, and only good gifts come from him. However, there are times that he may put things we don't like in our path. It's your place to recognize that those things aren't permanent. It's your duty to learn to trust God's intentions for you. If you're going through some rough paths at the moment, please know that it may be part of the process and you need to trust God's process. God's process may include that people or things be taken away from you. Think about it. Many times, it's only when we're faced with hard situations that we eventually make decisions that are right for us. So, decisions we normally wouldn't make, if not that we came face to face with hard decisions, are what we eventually make. The funny thing is that these decisions are decisions that would get us the very thing we've wanted all along. But because we seem to be in a comfortable place in our lives, we just don't make such decisions until we're encountered with hardships. This is why sometimes God may need to shift you out of your comfort zone so that you can do the very things that you need to do to get blessed. So if you've been praying to God about getting blessed and getting opportunities, and you're facing some challenges that are pushing you toward making good decisions, then it's God who's shifting you so that he can bless you. God may need to shift you to bless you. He may shift you so that you can become a much better person, and this would lead to you getting blessed. You may be going through several situations that'll make you become a better person. God knows that your attitude has a lot to do with the results that you'll experience in your life. God is shifting you and using the trials to help you make space for the new. He wants you to let go of previous challenges and experiences that you've gone through before. God wants you to stop focusing on your past successes or past failures. He needs you to focus on what's in front of you so that he can bless you. When you're focused on the things in front of you, you'll be able to recognize and maximize the opportunity when it comes your way. God could be shifting you so that you can learn to let go of the things that have happened in your past. And as you do so, you'll begin to create enough new space in your life and focus on the future. While it might look like situations are here to kill and destroy you, and you may be thinking that God is against you, or that he's left you, and that's not the case. God is right there with you. He's not going to leave you or forsake you. He's only putting you on the path that would lead to your greatness. Remember that God always directs his children. Don't ever think that the devil is winning over you just because God has shifted some things in your life. The reality is that your story is one that God has known from the very start, and he's very involved in every step of the process. So he's leading you to your greatness and your glory, and he won't let the devil win against you. Rather, he would ensure that this shift will lead you into your blessing. Sometimes, God has to shift you for him to bless you. Remember that weeping may need to happen before joy comes in the morning. God may need to shift you for him to bless you. During times like this, you need to understand God's intention for you. You need to understand that God wants to bless you. He's not against you, and he's not trying to bring you down by shifting you. No. He's only using this to strengthen you and lead you to your blessings. Through this shifting, your life will change and you'll experience great blessings. Through the trials, God is going to lead you to a place of perfection where he can bless you. The shift of discomfort is not going to last forever. It's only for a short while. At the right time, God's love and blessings will be showered upon you. While life may seem uncomfortable and stress-filled at the moment, you must realize that God is with you every single time. And even when you don't see it, God is working for your good. Just keep your trust and hope in the Lord. You will come out blessed through it all. Those who trust in God, even though their trials always come out stressful, they are like the trees planted by the river which keeps blossoming. The nights of you crying are only going to give way to your days of laughter.
Because we lack full knowledge of what God wants to do with our lives and how much He wants to bless us, we are quick to start fearing and doubting His power in our lives. This is why you must remember who God is to you and the things He's done in the past. This is your loving Father. He would not leave or forsake you now. Be confident. He started good work in you, and He will not leave the work half-baked. He's committed to finishing what He started. This shift is God's strategy to lead you into blessings. Remember that all things work together for your good. This is also going to work for your good. Sometimes, there's always a price that needs to be paid for a blessing to be received. For some people, it's hard work. For some, it's time. It's patience. But either way, there's always something to be worked upon, a sort of trial that may need to be. Rejoice. Rejoice your seasons to receive blessings. The shift is bringing blessings your way. God is bringing blessings your way. It's His time to make you smile, and it's time for the shift to manifest itself. God is sending His armies and angels on your behalf. He's opening the windows of heaven to bless you. The ways of God are extremely different from the ways of man. While man wants to receive blessings immediately, God doesn't fulfill this request because He knows that we may not be ready for such blessings at the moment. God's wisdom is better and wiser than man's wisdom. God shifting you, making you go through some hard times, is His way of preparing you and leading you to the blessings He has in store for you. God knows the best things for His children. God Himself promised not to leave you stranded in any situation in life. Take hold of God's promises and keep reminding yourself of His love and presence in your life when you're passing through difficulties. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This shift of discomfort and trials will not last forever. The joy is already on its way to you. It has been God's plan for you all along. God is bringing your blessings your way. The time of that shift will soon be over.